Hi everyone, welcome back to the Edgewater Avenue YouTube channel. My name is Katie and today I'm excited to finally be showing you how to make an underwire bikini top. This pattern is gonna fall into the advanced category, but depending on how much practice you do, it could definitely be accessible if you're more intermediate. It's well worth trying or working your way up to it. For this tutorial, you will need fabric, quarter inch elastic, one inch elastic, a rotary cutter, a loop turner, the Hudson pattern, and two more materials that I haven't included on this channel yet, underwire casing, and of course, the underwire. If you'd like to know where I got these materials, as well as some more information about what they are and what they're used for, there will be a link in the description with a full blog post on the Hudson top. This post will have all sorts of helpful information, so I definitely recommend you check it out in addition to this video. So this is the pattern for the Hudson top. As you can see, there are a bunch of pieces and it might look confusing at first, but we're just gonna take this step by step. Again, the blog post that I have linked is a great reference to follow along with. The first step is cutting our pieces. I'm using this dotted fabric as the lining and I'm gonna cut one of each pattern piece except for the center piece that goes between the cups. This is a stylistic choice though, so whatever fabric you wanna show on the outside, you can use that for the center piece. Next, I'm cutting into my primary fabric, which will be this butterfly print. And again, I'm gonna cut one in each pattern piece, this time also cutting one of my center piece. You may notice that I have the darts cut out in the pattern, but I'm not cutting them into my fabric. Later on, I'll show you what to do with those darts. So now you're gonna cut your straps in whatever fabric you want. Again, I made the stylistic choice to use my dotted fabric for the straps, but it's totally up to you how you want to design your top. As usual, the strap measurements are included inside of the pattern. Now it's time to copy over the darts onto the bust pieces we just cut. I'm going to do this by placing my pattern piece on top of the fabric and tracing the dart with a fabric pen or marker. Do this with all four bust pieces. So now we're gonna switch over to the sewing machine and actually sew these darts. But first you'll fold the bust piece until you've matched up the lines you drew, pin if needed. Then, using a straight stitch, sew along the marked line across the two layers of fabric. In the video, I didn't trim the excess, but it is best practice to trim the remaining fabric after you sew the dart. Next, match each bust piece with right sides together. Now that that dart is out of the way, all of your pieces are ready to be constructed. Now this top is symmetrical, so in the video, I'm gonna be doing things all on one side, but you are gonna be doing this with both sides. So for the following steps, whatever I do on one side, you're also going to do on the other. So get out a bust piece, back strap, shoulder strap, center piece, and side piece. Lay them all with right sides together and sew along the areas that I'm tracing. If you need more clarification on exactly what areas you'll be sewing, open up that blog post link in the description. It's a great reference. So when I'm sewing, I'm first going over with a basting stitch on my regular sewing machine, and then I switch over to my overlock stitch. This helps keep everything in place and make it much easier to sew. The shoulder straps and the centerpiece will not need to have elastic attached, but the bust pieces, sides, and back straps will, so use your serger to attach elastic. In the next few steps, we're going to be switching between pieces that we're working on, which might seem confusing, but each piece has its own set of instructions. As I mentioned earlier, if I do something with one side, just do it with the other as well. Moving forward, it's time to add the one inch elastic into the straps. I came up with a new trick to make this a little bit easier. First, I use a long straight stitch and attach the elastic to the strap while it's still inside out. Then I use my loop turner and stick it through the seam that I just made, bringing the strap all the way to the right side. This is a lot easier because your loop turner is poked through the fabric and not just the elastic. 
Once you're happy with the way it looks, straight stitch each end to secure the strap to the fabric. Now we're going to attach the strap to the bust piece by inserting it inside of the strap opening and sewing it down. Trim the excess and do this with both sides. Take the bust piece to the right side and now you're going to stitch the bottom part completely closed with a straight stitch. Again, do this with both bust pieces. Next, it's time to attach the side pieces to the back straps. With the back strap still inside out and with your side piece to the right side, insert the side piece inside of the back strap, making sure right sides are together. Sew across all four layers of fabric and then trim the excess. Take the piece all the way to the right side and then again we're going to use a straight stitch, this time to close up the open edge of the side piece. Switching gears, we're going to take our center piece and use the underwire channeling to stabilize it and prevent it from stretching. This might not seem like a very important step, but it is essential, otherwise the cups are going to separate when the garment is worn. And in the lingerie industry, there is a stabilizing fabric that you can use for this. And so I don't know that this is technically correct, but I already had underwire channeling and it does a great job. So now you can see we have the centerpiece, bust piece, and the back strap all ready to go. Now we need to attach them together. To do this, flip the centerpiece and the back strap onto the bust piece so they're right sides together which in my case, my right side is the butterfly print and my wrong side is the dotted print. Pin and then use a straight stitch to attach them. And now it's time to attach the underwire channeling. I have my piece laid out so the right side is facing up, but the center piece and the back strap have right sides together in the same position they were in the previous step. Take the underwire channeling and sew it so it covers the seam allowance. And you'll notice that I'm sewing just on the left side of that channeling, being careful not to sew too close to the center, which would end up closing the channel. Once the channeling is attached, flip the piece now to the wrong side, and this time we're going to sew the other side of the channeling. While you're doing this, it helps to stretch the fabric away from the channeling in order to make sure the fabric doesn't get bunched up or folded. So now we can bring our other bust piece into the picture and this time we're gonna match it with right sides together onto the center piece. And this will attach both of the cups together. Finish up the other cup by attaching the channeling just like we did in the previous step. Now we're gonna be attaching our shoulder straps into the back straps. Because this top isn't reversible anyways, I decided to straight stitch the straps in place, but you can easily make them have concealed seams by seam ripping a hole and then doing it from the inside that way. So I just top stitched them and trimmed off the excess and it still looks great. And of course, what would an underwire top be without an underwire? Get your wires out and insert them between the layers of casing. Then straight stitch the casing closed on each end so the wires won't slip out. And here is the finished Hudson top. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I know it's a lot of instructions and information, so just make sure to take a look at the blog post that I have linked, which will have written instructions, resources on materials, and all that you could think of. This top took me over a year of work for it to be released, so if there's any pattern that you wanna support, this one would be it. So go to edgewateravenue.com or Edgewater Avenue on Etsy and give the Hudson top some love. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you soon.